Welcome to the final few days of the MC500. The final days, but the biggest, biggest mountains. Here we go. Now that is freezing. Oh my God. There's a white one with really, really long hair. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. On this video, we're going to take you on the last part of the NC500 on the west coast, and we're going to go to some really wild places with big mountains, freshwater locks that are completely cut off from civilization. So we begin this last chapter in Alapool, where we're looking for breakfast and our morning coffee. So we're in Tea by the Sea, and they do oat milk for coffees, which is really good. It's right on the harbour. You can't sit in, unfortunately, but you can sit outside. Um, we're getting coffee to take away. And they're providing a little cashew butter flapjack for us as well, which we're going to try, um, as we do. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like. I've chopped it in two for you, so no arguments. Oh, look, she chopped it in two oh, for that. That's, that's a, so that's handy. That's <laughs> what more could you want? <laughs> Sitting outside, chocolate flapjack with, uh, what butter was it? With cashew, cashew butter. butter. And a coffee, having tea by the sea. It could do with being a bit warmer. Yeah, maybe a little bit warmer. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> but oh. I'm going to ignore that. How is that? Mmm. That's lovely. That's only half of it as well. So it's like double that size. Really good. This place is known by two names on Google anyway. It's Gelato Ullapool and Cafe Margot or Margot. I don't know how you, spell, how you pronounce that. And here yeah, we just found out they've got vegan stuff. So um, we're gonna go and have a check and see, see what vegan stuff they've got. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're traveling around and doing, showing all the vegan food on the F3500. <laughs> what sort of vegan options have you got? Is that a vegan haggis pie as well? <gasps> vegan cauliflower curry pie. Is that, look at this, we've got to get that. Vegan haggis pie. Really? <gasps> Wow! Oh my god! Who would have funk it? Vegan vegetable tagine pie. Oh, lovely. Oh. So we're definitely going to go for a haggis pie. And the lovely lady Catch is warming it up for us now. So, <laughs> looking forward to that. I fancy an espresso. Okay, actually. let's go for espresso then. Yeah. Alright, let's give this a proper go. Mmm! It's creamy, it's herby, it's a little bit spicy. That pastry is insane. That is a really good pie. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. But it's a bit windy, isn't it, Janine? It's so windy out there. It's really cold as well. So um, I'm just going to shut the door. But we've got a nice panoramic kind of window in our van. So it's, good. it's a good viewing spot. Mmm, mmm. Good. The best type of cake in the world is coffee cake. Oh my God, this is so nice. We hit the road pretty quickly after eating the cake as time was knocking on and we had quite a distance to cover. Okay, we're turning round because we've just seen some baby Highland cows and they're running in a field. There's a white one with really, really long hair and it looks so gorgeous. So we're going down there now. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. Look at you. Oh my god. I would give it all away to do it all again. Oh my god. Isn't this the most beautiful cow you've ever seen? <laughs> Look at your haircut, mate. That is brilliant. I think you've won haircut of the year. Look at them together. Oh, oh you're so snuggly. Oh. Okay, now guys, I'd like you to pose for a photo for me. Three, two, one. Beautiful. That was definitely me and Liam both ticking off the Highland cows off our bucket list. So Liam's pulled over because he wants to see how cold the locks actually are. So he might be getting in one um i think he's crazy because i can tell him right now that they are freezing <laughs> but he wants to try and go for it liam go for it you yeah so liam is currently inside the van getting changed into his board shorts um and i'm waiting for him outside 
you ready, Liam? He just said, yeah, if you didn't hear that. <laughs> it's cold even without going in the water. I know. It's not a wetsuit, it's just it's Janine's vest that she designed. It says Iron Vegan. So I'm going to live up to the name now. I've actually got to get in. Yeah. How exciting! <laughs> Cold water, dipping, not swimming, <laughs> dipping in the northwest of Scotland. Here we go. Now that is freezing. That is absolutely freezing. Oh, beautiful. That was well worth it. I needed a wash as well. I fully recommend that beach to anybody. So we've just turned the corner and we've seen our first glimpse of all of the massive mountains of Scotland and we can just see panoramic views of these huge peaks pointy and I'm going to pointy <laughs> peaks <laughs> and I'm going to capture them now to show you. So let's go. The road. Today's journey, if we went straight without stopping, would take just over an hour and it's taken us all day and we're still not there yet. <laughs> they've got, they've got uh, spi spicy borscht soup, which is uh, beetroot apparently. Spicy beetroot. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. Okay, so this is the spicy borscht soup from Oh, what's the name? The Gale Centre in hmm, Gerlock, I think it is. I think it's called Gerlock. There's vegan options. There's vegan, some vegan cakes as well, like flapjacks and stuff, and a, ve a vegan brownie. See what it's like. Mmm. Whoa. That's like pure beetroot and pepper. <laughs> That's really, really hits the spot. That does. Wow. So we were like the last ones in the cafe having like a four o'clock lunch. I swear, doing this trail here, we're the last ones to arrive anywhere. Um, it's quite busy along the trail, so there are lots of tourists, but for some reason we always end up rolling up somewhere quite late. I Like, we must just stop off everywhere. <laughs> so we made a deal not to stop anymore and head straight to our sleeping spot. Right, we're in a place called Kinloch Hugh which is our destination for the evening. Tell you what our situation is. I've got a post going out on Instagram tomorrow that I definitely need to get out on Instagram tomorrow, nine o'clock in the morning. Let's just try this out a second. This could have, if this has Wi-Fi, then we can come back tomorrow morning. And they've got like a little takeaway coffee place as well. So that'd be really cool. Let's just double check. Okay, so they open at 8.30 and they've got Wi-Fi. That so. is perfect. <laughs> Tick, yeah, tick. So we just need to find somewhere that's open at 8.30 and they've With got Wi-Fi. And this is the only place. And, um, that, and that means that we can wild camp on Benet. Yes. Which is going to be brilliant. Yes, so we can go back there and find one of those gorgeous spots that we just went past. And so begins the mission to find the perfect wild camping spot for the evening. Thankfully, Janine, just found, we've just found somewhere <laughs> so random. It means we don't have to stay in a campsite tonight. We can do wild camping tonight on one of the, probably one of the most sort of cut off places on our route so far and we can't wait so we're going there now so wish us luck that's a campsite isn't it jesus we don't want a campsite we don't, no. want, to pay. We don't want to pay i don't think this is overnight parking well i don't know there's camper vans down here but it's not it's quite busy yeah there's, there's probably better places that's option number one uh there's a couple of uh camper vans down there and one car uh and it's the start of some trails some um sort of designated trails now we could go back and sleep there we're going to bear that in mind that one this is option number two mm, not so sure about this one i think i prefer the other one it's a little bit closer to the lock there's already somebody here so we've got option one option two 
for wild camping, but number three, I've got a feeling, will be the wild card. Option number three. Ooh, what's option number three? There's a danger sign. It's always good. Let's have a quick look down here. See, I just want to go towards the danger sign first. You can go. Hidden crevasses. Option number one, um, because it's a bit flatter and there's walks round there. There's trails. There's no trails there. In fact, there's chains saying don't walk because there's hidden crevasses. And there's the Loch Ness Monster. In the wrong lock, as usual. Just the Loch Monster He's then. always in the wrong lock, that Loch Ness Monster, <laughs> isn't he? So good night everyone, we will see you tomorrow morning um, bright and early because we're going to get up and hopefully go for a walk before we have to be at that internet cafe. So we're hoping to get up early. It, no, what? What did I say? You could be an internet cafe. <laughs> I'm sure they'd love that. <laughs> he seemed really infused about us going to use his Wi-Fi, didn't he? And Janine's already calling it. You're already calling it an internet cafe. <laughs> It's a petrol station that serves coffee that also happens to have Wi-Fi if you need it. <laughs> okay, what I meant to say was we'll see you tomorrow morning when we wake up bright and early, go for a walk, have breakfast, go to the cafe, not the internet cafe, use their Wi-Fi, do the Instagram post, come back, get on the road and yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning everyone, so me and Liam woke up this morning and it was absolutely chucking it down. So we decided not to go for that walk, unfortunately, because it's so gorgeous around here. Um, we waited for a little bit, it's still a bit drizzly. We could walk, but we have to go to that internet cafe this morning now, so um, maybe we'll come back, we're not quite sure, but we're going to head off to that internet cafe um, and do our bits before we decide what we're doing really. But before we go, I'm just going to show you the eerie misty lake that we woke up to this morning. It looks yeah. really kind of misty and spooky. And I love a spooky lake. Ooh. So this is Ben Egg, this lock. It's a freshwater lock surrounded by mountains. Um, it's also a nat protected nature reserve. It's one of the most unspoilt locks in the whole of Scotland because there's no fish farming or anything going on it or anything like that. But I think one of the major reasons they protect it is there's a bird on here that's really rare that comes to nest. Four different families apparently on this huge lock. So probably very difficult to see as the bird's probably about this big. But I um, can't remember what it's called. It's sort of grey with a black beak, fluffy little grey babies. And apparently the sound of the bird um, the bird makes is really haunting. Goodbye, Ben. Hey, that was a lovely stop. I wish we could have had more time there. Um, what coffee do you want to be have? Can I have um, a latte, please? Oat milk, please. Yeah. Uh, two oat lattes, please. Yeah. Can we have a, uh, a vegan Is it vegan breakfast roll? No, just a vegan roll with vegan sausage and dairy free spread. That sounds fantastic, mate. Can we have a bit of tomato sauce in that as well? Yeah, you can add your own. Okay, cool. Do you want two, two of those, two of those please, mate. I hope that's your one, you're not putting brown sauce on my one. This is my one. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it just go to show that you can be the most far out places and you can still get a vegan sausage sandwich? A vegan sausage sandwich with ketchup and, and brown sauce. And a coffee with oat milk. And a coffee with oat milk. Let's see if you can guess the sausage. Okay. I think I can guess already. Mmm. I think it's Linda McCartney. Do you reckon? Mm. Let me give it a go. I'll have a, I'll have a go. It's a strong one though. Yeah. It's a rosemary, Linda McCartney. Yeah, you're right, Janine. Well done. Well done. Must. We'll give you that one. <laughs> Honestly, when you're cut off from nowhere and you can find a vegan sausage sandwich and an oat milk latte, it really does make the difference. We've decided to finish the NC500 today. We are going to be finishing the NC500. This beautiful valley that we're going through right now, 
even on a very single track road, is going to take us to Inverness. And that's where we started from, if you remember. We started at Loch Ness, which went through Inverness and all the rest of it. So now it's our mission to get to Inverness, but we stop at one last lock to say goodbye to the mountains. I love that it's raining as well. I feel like that's an experience that we've needed to have this kind of drizzly rain here. Um, it changes the whole look of the place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Janine was just saying that it's sort of, I can't believe how well it's gone um, for us. And that's not because we planned it all out, because we didn't plan it all out. You've got one route, two routes around the NC500, you go left or right, and that's it. So we love journeys like that. And because of that, you follow one road and you do whatever you want, and that's what we've done. We haven't worked out where we're gonna stay. We've got, thankfully, we've got free to the camper van, so we can we can just sort of roll up and pull up anywhere. Can't recommend the NC500 enough to you. If, you ha if you're thinking about it, you're on the fence about it, rent a car, rent a van, stay in Airbnbs, whatever, you've just got to do it. Excuse me, mate, do you know the directions to Inverness, please? We went for the home straight to complete our NC500 challenge. However, as it turns out, the mountains weren't finished with us yet. You can't see anything. Wow, it's just that the sun coming out the opposite direction. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This is just a little bit scary. There's a sheer drop there. Oh, and up my there, goodness. my God, it's even worse. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch out. I'm watching. You're not, you're waving. Yeah, we've got to be polite and courteous, haven't we? No. <laughs> Can't see a damn thing. We're on top of the mountain. Either side of us is drops. Oh, and look, all I can see in the distance is blinky lights. Lights of people stopping for other people, but no one knows what's going on. And look, this is a passing place here, right? And I'll show you oh how, much room, how much room there is to pass. There's zero room. I'm... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thrill of bloody minute. I'll stop it, isn't it? There's the passing place. Oh my God. Remember that passing place. Yeah, this is actually really scary. Um, I just want to get down off this mountain now because we can only see a few meters in front and there's like a sheer drop to the left which obviously I'm looking over. It's really dodgy. It's the, probably one of the most dodgiest roads I've ever driven on. Oh wow we can see the bottom! Well that was an experience but we couldn't be happier to get down from this mountain. We had absolutely no idea before attempting this mountain that this part of the journey was notoriously scary and not for the faint hearted. That's literally where we just were behind those really dark clouds. We've just driven over that friggin huge mountain there and that was possibly, definitely in the UK, the scariest road or the most thrilling road I've ever driven over. So thank you for that Scotland and the NC500. <laughs> that is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> so we're thinking about uh, as a little treat to ourselves, uh, getting like an Airbnb, uh, one with laundry obviously as well. Uh, kill two birds with one stone. So we've got t-shirts, we've got teas, we've got cake, we've got all sorts coming. Have you got any sandwiches? There's no sandwiches, no, just, I, I got us two slices of cake, that's all I got. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> loves a t-shirt. Can I see the back? That she's a sucker for t-shirts. Yeah, that's brilliant. So that'll fit, yeah? Yeah, that's wicked. So Liam tells me we've got a berry cheesecake here and a chocolate orange sponge cake. I think it's a sponge cake, yeah. yeah. Look, they both look so good, don't they? <laughs> mm. Mm. Chilled cheesecake, not a baked one. Chilled one, very nice. Coconut tea with raspberry, really good. 
This is the Midgey Bike Cafe, by the way. Mmm. Mmm. Is it really orangey? Mmm. Yeah. Very, very moist as well. Like, super moist. Mmm. Mm. Just booking, we got Wi Fi. <clears throat> we need the Wi Fi. We've got a bathtub. We need a bathtub. We've got a vegan breakfast <clears throat> and on site parking as well, all for 60 quid. So, we apparently, if we don't get. <laughs> if we don't get there before seven, they won't let us in. How, what a weird thing is that? It's a hotel as well. It's not I like... We, I reckon we picked a stinker. <laughs> it's not like it's a uh, homestay. I'd understand with a homestay, but this is like a hotel. Weird. Anyway, we've got to drive really fast now. Yeah, and that woman, that woman in there, she just said... She just said, it's straight roads until you get to somewhere called Gar or something like that. <laughs> and then when you get to Gar, it's not straight and it takes ages, so. Okay, so we've got to hoof it to Gar. Twisty, windy roads and we'll end up, we'll turn up there feeling sick and racing want. through the doors at like five to seven. That's what we want. Standard. Okay, it's about six o'clock in the evening now. We're about 12 miles outside of Inverness, which is our end point. It's also the start point of the NC500. We're starting to see things like civilization, more cars on the road, straighter roads, roundabouts, speed cameras, all of that crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, but our end destination is in sight and it's slightly emotional, but also quite an achievement. Hey, up. Ooh. I'll do even better, That's won't better, it? better, yeah. That's so much better. <laughs> oh, this is all right, isn't it? Aww. We're here for the bath. The jacuzzi bath. We're here for the bath. I can't believe we'd like that. Apparently, we've got a jacuzzi bath. Whoa. Right. With you and I, the future is bright.